Well, good morning. It's Tuesday, December 29th, and this is some more Christmas wisdom from Waldo. Only one more Christmas devotion after today. And since Christmas music is my favorite, and for the most part will be put away until next year, I'm getting my fill of it. And you're getting these final two devotions on Christmas and the music of Christmas. This one was written by a man with a neat name, Nahum Tate. Nahum was one of the Old Testament prop- prophetic books. Nahum's father was Faithful Tate. <laughs> Nahum was a minister and a poet. He also helped write a few operas. Nahum would become the poet laureate of England. He wrote a birthday poem for King George I. And though he was very brilliant and a minister, he drank and he squandered his money. Tragically, he would die broke and in hiding from his creditors. But he and a friend, Dr. Nicholas Brady, would rewrite some of the hymns from the church. They were published as a new version, and thus were mostly opposed. Uh, By the way, their new version was published in 1696. (laughs) I chuckle thinking that there was old and new music then, too, and that their new music is now our old music. For all of Nahum's secular writings, and a life really not lived as a very worthy man, he did manage to give us a wonderful Christmas carol. The carol's called, While Shepherds Watch Their Flock by Night. Yes, though it's old, it's still a great Christmas carol today. But the point is, there really is no old or new Christmas message. It's the same today as it was 2,000 years ago. A Savior born, announced to shepherds to bring peace. Do you have the peace of Christmas? Peace with God only comes from receiving the gift that He gave. The greatest gift ever given or written about. Now stop and think about that.